Welcome back to State of Decay 2 and the lion's share. And guess what? You know that weird problem that I've been having with vans appearing at my base? Joe Swarner figured it out. He knows what causes it, which is uh, Ray Santos. His first mission, the one where you find him at the campsite near um, his farmhouse, that mission gives him a van. Oh, here we go. Look at that! <laughs> Lily, you have perfect timing. That's amazing. So, yeah, so his mission gives him a van. It puts a van near where he lives. Actually, let me, you know, let's just, I was going to do Tressy Huerta's mission. What am I doing? I was going to do Tressy Huerta's mission, but let's actually do the Santos legacy instead because it's relevant. So Lily's talking to me right now, so I want to give her just a little bit of a break because I can't think straight when she's in my ears, even though I've quieted her down so that I can talk over her if I need to. Okay, she's done talking. So let me explain a weird problem that we have in our mission system. And this is a problem we've had from day one. In fact, when I was first put in charge uh, as you know the designer uh, in charge of sort of planning our uh, post-release updates... Um, you know, before I was design director and before we even got rid, you know, even knew that the juggernaut edition was a thing we were going to do. Uh, I was just, I was managing some of our, like, you know, while, well, while well, other folks were working on things like Heartland, um, and the Zed Hunter update, uh, I was working on some of the smaller stuff. Um, and one of the things that, that, uh, was sort of, uh, initially anyway, a high priority problem for us to try to fix back then, uh, was the fact that the prepper ant mission would spawn an infinite number of jeeps all over the map and it was really really weird if you just kept not going on on the uh, i think it was was it the second prepper ant mission the one that has the bug out vehicle if you didn't take that mission and you just kept ignoring it then each time you started the game you would get a new jeep as that mission started up again and eventually just jeeps would fill up the map and that's because um, our casting system, uh, which is, you know, the casting system is a system that, that lets missions sort of determine where they take place and what objects and people they involve. So, like, it'll, for instance, say, okay, this is a mission that has to take place at a tavern. Uh, because it's the booze hounds and they want to go get some booze somewhere. And so it finds a tavern in the world and says, okay, that's the tavern we're going to do the mission at. Here's the enclave that we need. Here's where they live. Here's all these, this information you, you need so that then we can script the mission. It says, okay, go here, talk to this person, go to this other location, find this object there, bring it all back and talk to the, to the first person again. That's how missions sort of are scripted. And so before you can script a mission, you have to cast all of the things that take place, that, that the mission takes place. Um, takes advantage of. Vehicles are an interesting case because if you need to have a very specific vehicle with very specific things in the trunk, like Prepper Ant um, needs to have a, a Jeep that's got very specific items in it, you can't just find some random Jeep in the world. You have to make a new Jeep and put the stuff in the trunk. And so because that mission... Uh, you know, does that, it means that every time we spawn the mission fresh, it doesn't try to find a random Jeep in the world. It just makes a new Jeep. And so if, if so, uh, the thing that we needed in order to make this work the way you think it should work is we needed some way for missions to be able to grab an existing vehicle. Like, basically, if a previous incarnation of that mission had... Um, oh, actually, hmm. If a previous incarnation of that mission had uh, created the same vehicle and you had never touched it and you never found it, then that mission, the next time it gets cast, it should just grab the exact same vehicle and recycle it. But it turned out, like, we recommended that. When it turned out, when a programmer actually looked at the way it worked under the hood, that was going to be a really difficult thing to do. It was going to be a lot of, like, tangled stuff it was going to have to unravel. Um, you know, there were just a lot of problems that it could potentially cause. And there were other improvements we could make to the game that were going to be much more cost-effective, so we did those instead. And we kept doing that. We kept doing them instead and doing them instead until we just kind of lost track of this problem. But we did know in the back of our minds that making vehicles for a mission is problematic because it can just spawn them infinitely. Um, particularly if the mission is part of an arc, like a character arc, like like Prepper, like uh, like Prepper Ant, or like Ray Santos's arc in, uh, in in Trouble Valley. There is a mission, uh, a mysterious broadcast mission from the Zed Hunter update that spawns a van. But because we don't try to hold on to those missions and keep recasting them again and again, it casts once and then you ignore it. It doesn't come back for a long time. So that one doesn't really cause problems the same way. But Prepper Ant causes a problem, and Ray Santos causes a problem by spawning vans all over the place. Um, 
But I just realized that actually I'm kind of amused by the fact that it just keeps giving me more vans. So I was about to go on this Ray Santos mission to complete it and make this bug stop happening. I think I'm not going to. I think I'm just going to keep moving the van out of this position um, and keep letting new ones spawn here. Because I should tell you, there's, there's one other piece I haven't explained yet. Not only does it keep making new vans, but because... Ray has got Ray has got a particular location near him, which is the the intended place to to place the van. So the first time the mission casts, it places a van near Ray, but the second time, because that slot is already full, it finds the next closest slot and spans a, spawns a van near there. And if that spot is full, eventually it keeps it, it will spawn in other locations. So the reason we kept getting vans here is because I kept driving them out of that spawn point. So each time I found a van here, I would drive the van away and I would park it like over here. And that means there's now room for another van to spawn. So I think I'm just going to keep moving the vans and let's just see how many vans we can gather uh, because it's funny. So there's a couple of different ways we could solve this bug. One is to just say, you know what? This van is not essential to the mission. It's just there to show that Ray has a vehicle and he's not walking around everywhere. I think it was meant to sort of endorse the fact that his character is sick um, and has problems. Um, and so, you know, probably couldn't just run around by himself a whole lot. And so I think the van is there to try, try to help illustrate that. Um, but it's not essential for the mission. And if it's not there, no one's going to complain about it. So the easy solution is just don't spawn a van for that mission and then it'll stop. The more complex solution is to go back to that original plan and say, you know what, we need to make it so that if a mission is spawning a vehicle, it should first check to see if a previous incarnation of the mission spawned the same vehicle. And if the player has not found or touched that vehicle and it's still in the right place, use that vehicle. Um, that's, a, that's sort of the best solution. I don't know if we're going to have the time to untangle everything to make that possible. So I don't know how or when this is gonna get fixed. It might never get fixed, in which case we're going to have an infinite number of vans, which just sounds amazing. So let me check in with the chat real quick to see what I've missed. Um, do, 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 do. Looks like we just got some more people joined in the chat, uh, like uh, Zombate Flaps. Nice to see you. Um, Oh, so Cogs says, uh, regarding casting, it seems that when a new beginning casts, it seems to make base sieges not happen. Uh, are you aware of this? Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, I think so. So I think one of the reasons why uh, that would happen is because um, sieges, they're not just a systemic part of the game. They actually are missions. Uh, there's a lot of parts of the game where we kind of abused the mission system to make things happen. The morale system, for instance, is entirely controlled by missions, which is an insane way for it to work, but it was the tool we had at our disposal at the time we needed to hack a missions, uh, hack a, a morale system into the game right before it released. Um, so you're getting exposed to the sort of, uh, how the sausage gets made, uh, in game development. So, um, so yeah, so... Basically, when you cast a location in a mission, you can't cast the same location in another mission because that could cause weird conflict. You come to one place and two events try to start happening simultaneously. So we don't let you do that. Uh, and so that means that if you've got a mission that casts your base as a part of the mission, that means that the sieges, which are also missions that cast your base, um, can't happen. So yeah, so keeping a mission like that open for a long time is kind of like having a Haven device um, in a lot of ways because it, it'll prevent the casting system from, from letting you have a siege. Um, Ranathcourt says, I've had sieges during the legacy missions before. It probably just delays them a little. It just kind of depends on which legacy mission you're talking about. Some of them will cast your base and some of them won't. And so it, it, it yeah, it just really depends. Anyway, so uh, so I just wanted to jump right in and talk about that because I'm really excited because we've been talking about these mysterious vans on this stream for, for some time without knowing where they came from. And now that Joe Swarner's figured out the answer to that question, and now that he's been integrated into the team as a designer, he actually, you know, he has access to and, and an understanding of the mission system. And so he was actually able to find the exact spot where we script that to happen and sent me a screenshot of it, which is great. So thank you to Joe Swarner for figuring that out. Um... I think I'll actually just make this a really short video uh, talking about this. So let's let's wrap up the video and get on to like the actual proper stream. So um, yeah, here's a subscribe button. Here is my attempt to actually do a real stream uh, with uh, our next session. And thank you for joining me for this brief discussion.